Hi everyone, it's Maeve and Katie and today we are showing you the Ostheimer fairy tale world which includes the Ostheimer fairies, knights and castles. And dragons. And dragons. We've set them up in our shop and we're going to run through just a few little items and scenes with you. So Katie. Well we've started here with a little fairy tale scene. We have two different Ostheimer knights. So we have this chap here with his sword and his shield and he is off along with his knight riding. So he's on his horse and he has opposable arms and legs so he can sit astride his horse and you can bend him. Now he's quite purpley in turn, isn't he? There's a few different colours of the knights. There are purples, there's pinks and there's reds. Um, so if I put him back on his horse, I can show you a different colour. He is actually knight blue, but he does look purple. Yeah, it is a slight tinge to purple. And that is the pink knight with his little flower on his shield. He has a lance as he's sitting astride his horse. Or... Unicorn, because we're in fairy tale land. We're in fairy tale land. So that's the knights. They come in a couple of different colours, and all movable, bendable parts on most of them. Some yep. of them have hands and arms, and that knight there just has his hands, which are movable. Yep. So we can fight off the dragons. Speaking of which, if we cross our fairy tale bridge, complete with our jacko picker, we'll come to our dragon's cave, and in the dragon's cave. Look at him. I must admit, I really, really love the Ostheimer dragon. I just Lovely. think it's just beautiful. It's just the detail is absolutely amazing and that fire coming out from his mouth. Don't get me wrong, I like the Ostheimer dragon, uh, the Halsteiger dragon, and we have one up there. So we can compare the two. But I do have a soft spot for the Ostheimer one. So this is your Halsteiger. And then we can see. This is your Ostheimer. He's just a bit more fearsome, isn't he? He really is. They both have flames. The Red Knight Francesca is not currently in stock. He is the Dragon Knight. He has a dragon on his shield. He is black and red. But no, unfortunately, we don't currently have him in stock to show you on the video. So that's the dragon and the lovely Dragon's Cave, which is really thick. Very heavy. chunky, very heavy. Comes in two pieces. It looks like four pieces, but it's actually two pieces. So that's the back two pieces of Kiev. Really, really chunky and thick. And the front two pieces. And then they just... And that's the Astyma Dragon's Cave. Set the two together like that. So you could have two caves. You could have a tunnel and a cave. If you felt so inclined. It's really quite substantial pieces there, aren't they? They're huge. Of course, every dragon needs to protect his queen, and the queen is in a round tower, so she's currently in there. There's little windows, little door through the middle, and at the top. And again, if you just show that top there, she can stand in her palisade. We can see how chunky and thick it is. And just to put her back in, she fits in there perfectly. We're all about mix and matching toys here at Bab and Me and the Jekko figures don't fit in. They'll fit on top perfectly. Yeah, there we go. That? But unfortunately... She's too wide to fit on there. She's eaten one too many slices of cake and doesn't quite fit into the door. The queen just slots in. Ready to be defended by her fearsome bows. Get a really heavy tower there. Now, in terms of wood, Astami use several different woods. For their uh, people and pieces, if we can pick something up, a knight or something, if you look closely, they use a solid uh, maple wood. And the reason why they use a maple wood for the pieces is it doesn't have much grain, so it just means that they're really fine artwork. They can get much better detail on it. They finish everything off with organic walnut oil, but look at the detail on that face. That is really... He's got his like, profile nose and his lovely eyebrows and yeah, it's just fab. So for the pieces, they use uh, solid maple wood, all sustainable sources in Europe. For the castle pieces, and if we just, we'll 
spin around to another castle. They use alderwood, and it's got a, you can see there's a lot more grain coming through. So it's just alderwood, and all they do is they finish it with a natural organic walnut oil. And then for some animals, they use like where they want a rough texture, like the boar, they use an ashwood, and that just gives a rougher texture. So the thought process that goes into even using different woods for different animals just shows how detailed Ostheimer are. So we've done this level, have we? We have done this level. Shall we move it on? Shall we span it up? Let me throw my phone everywhere. And I hope you're liking our new reclaimed pallet wall in our shop. It's freshly installed. Freshly installed at the weekend. We We've been saving. We we have a lot of pallets delivered to us, and some were claimed by other companies, but we had an awful lot left over. So what we did is we kept them. We dried them out. Um, and then we use leftover paint from ourselves, from our... <laughs> from Grandpa's stash. <laughs> from just little tin pots we had everywhere. We'll show you the wall in a minute and then we, uh, my son Seamus put it all up at the weekend. So we we've sanded got... it all down and then each piece was cut to fit so that the full length was there and no parts were wasted. So we used a tiny, tiny, tiny little bucket of scrap pieces of wood, which is really, really small. Yeah. Like, it's on, like I missed it. He did point out to me that he had a scrap bucket, and I was like, "Where?" He said, that, "That's how little scrap there was. There was so, nothing." So there. we're already quite proud of our uh, reclaimed pallet wall. So let's go back up to the top, and I love this character, this, the witch and her cat. This is our gorgeous witch. She is incredibly scary. Look she comes she in two pieces, doesn't she? Yep, she has a cat who it was fits on her shoulder. Does yeah. So this is her witch is familiar. I really, really love that. I love the witch. I think she's fab. And look at the cat. Perfect for making fairy tales with. Green eyes. Isn't it lovely? So, ding dong bell. Pussy is sitting in the well. And uh, the witch is at her gate. This is a gate with door. I'll bring that down and show you that they've left the bark on the edges of this piece. Oh, that's really nice, isn't it? That's lovely. lovely texture. So, they've got leather straps in the door as hinges and a little bell. little bell. Attention to detail. And it's again, gorgeous. if we turn it that way, you can just see how thick the wood is. It's just such great quality. So with Oz Timer, what they do is you've got a castle set and you can add to and or mix and match various other different pieces. So they've got portcullises, they've got this gate with door, they've got bell towers that I'll show you now in a second. And you can just add all these little pieces in together the magical fairy tale bridge is actually a part of a castle palisade um but that just goes to show that it can be open-ended and can also be a fairy tale bridge and should we just bring down that well because it's just so beautiful ding dong bell look well complete with its bucket so there it is so the cat's sitting beside the well because obviously it needs to be there and i've got Sorry. should i hold that in so you, you hold that end and i can spin that Ooh, there we go bucket's gone down and I can wind the bucket back up again. And it's got lovely little roof. Oh, both sides have little handles to turn. And just for fun, I put the cat by the well. Just so you can say that. Put, ding, dong, ding dong bell. On the Pussies in the well. Yeah. Who pushed her in? Little dice is in. So moving along, we've got the we unicorn. We have the nice with the unicorn. So we'll show you the unicorn again, just because we love the unicorn. We love, love, love the unicorn. It's just so happy. Look at his happy little smile. Not a great toy for little children? No, um, that point is quite sharp um, and quite delicate. So I would keep that on a nursery wall while they're small and bring it down whenever they're a little bit older. But even as a decoration. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. Look, eyelashes. Look at those eyelashes to kill for. <laughs> And then we have some pieces of the castle wall. So you can buy 45 degree angles. So that's one of the 45 degree angles. And you see there, put the angle in. And then you can match it with a second piece of wall. To create the turn. To create the turn. So we've got two of the pieces of 45 come in a set and one piece of the wall comes in a set. Now, Every night needs a treasure chest. This can also be used in a pirate ship, but I reckon we all need a little bit of a pirate treasure chest going on in our castles. So that's a gorgeous little treasure chest. And then one of my favourite pieces, 
to protect one's treasure one requires the grain on that is just gorgeous it's isn't stunning it? isn't it and that comes with cannonballs or it you does co it comes with the cannonballs and it has a little pop action so it does actually, so it does fire. actually fire, cannonballs. Need to fire a cannonball do we need to fire a cannonball are we, we gonna, are we gonna find the cannonball whenever we come back <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it straight back in yeah let's just fire it there somewhere i think we should attack a princess with the how good's my aim let's see aim up the top there people <laughs> I shot the dragon! Whoop whoop! <laughs> so that is your cannon and three different colours of white in that. So you've got your darker stain on your barrel, you've got the wheels, and then you've got. Again, because the, the size shopping. of the cannonballs, one for an older children. But you know, my. my older children? Old my child. husband <laughs> <one. Yeah. laughs> My 12 and 14 year old would love that cannon. It's brilliant. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It just goes to show that these toys really do grow with children as they get older. I mean, maybe not for Alfie, but you know, Daddy could play with them along with that, couldn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then there is a more basic cannon yeah. as well. This cannon, you can pop it on the pirate ship. You can use it with their castles, but it has got the little wick there to burn and pop your cannon. But unfortunately, it does not work. It's a decommissioned cannon. It's purely ceremonial. <laughs> I was going to make a joke then about Northern Ireland decommissioned weapons, Please but probably not. <laughs> um, so this is your tar, your bell tar. So it has gorgeous little windows, and again, it's really thick. It's just huge. And That's really big, isn't it? It's massive. It's quite heavy too. <laughs> so if I pop it back up, and we can let me span out and see just the size of it beside the camera. It's absolutely enormous. Yeah, I hope we zoom out. There we go. It's huge, huge. And and then our last in this series is if we just spin ourselves around. Can we see? Yeah. There we go. Is now this is a castle. We've laid it out just because of where it's fitting in the shop. But you can. The beauty of this is it comes in loads of parts. You can do it in loads of shapes. Yep. So there's 24 pieces. Two of the main pieces are the door and the tower. So the door is here and we've put it on back to front. So this is the inside of the castle. Um, so it just opens some leather straps. And then it has a little lock that goes across. So you can barricade your castle door. I think that's brilliant. Yeah, so this, this is, a, well, we should pretend we're looking we're at it. Right we're looking beautiful. at it pastel wall um, so you can stand your people up on here to defend over the top of your castle you've then got all the pieces of wall and again this is just a piece of wall so you get these in loads of different sizes but let's just look how huge that is so you've got bigger pieces of wall smaller pieces of wall then you've got steps because you need to climb your wall so you need to get up to the top of the wall to defend over the top with your archers and all the rest um, you have turns as well so I'm going to show you one of these, one of these. So there we go, and that's one of your 45 degree angles. So you can put walls either side and then your little person can stand here and defend over the top. And then you have these little sections as well, which are like teardrop shaped, so you can use those to make turns in your walls as well. And then you also have these little strut sections, so you can set those against your walls to support between the joints. So give them a bit of engineering experience there. Absolutely. I mean, that's the beauty of this, because it can be laid out in so many ways. It's just happened with so many skills. Engineering, architecture. This is your tower where obviously your princess must dwell. And I'll say, I mean, you can add into this, so you could use like the bell tower or the round tower, and um, the gate bell, you know, whatever you want to pop along with it. Again, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Really beautifully well turned. And that's Alderwood with organic almond oil. 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 So very simply finished. But again, mm. that's the beauty. And again, you can mix and match and add. Like we've got a cannon there from a boat. That's that's one of the nice parts about Ostrom is that they sell things separately, which can be a bit daunting at first when you first come to it because you just see this castle section with you know hundreds of little bits in. You can buy a castle set like this or you can just build it up every yep. birthday add a few more pieces to it 
and a couple of nights. And I really like that, the fact that it can just grow and grow. Yeah, I know Alfie would be perfectly happy just with, you know, the gate with the bell. He'd think that was great. Or he'd love the castle set and then you could add other little bits and pieces in. And children of all ages love that. And that yeah. canon is... That canon is just fantastic. Yeah. I think that Mr. Katie might be placing an order as we speak. <laughs> so that is Ostheimer's fairy tale fairies, knights, castles. Yep. We're going to be doing another couple of you uh, videos on Ostheimer during the week. We're going to go through their worlds and their themes. It is Ostheimer week. Um, just to show you our lovely reclaimed, we're very proud of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's done a fantastic job. Uh, pallet wall. Our zero waste wall. Our zero waste wall, which he is now taking commissions for. So if you live locally and you want to feature... Or you don't live locally and you want to pay him to fly to you. 